Okay, another interesting game from the Evolution of Style series, or for the Evolution of Style series, the young Tigran Petrosian. He was uh, about 19 years old around the time of this game in 1950. This was the USSR Chess Championship of 1950, showing the best of the best. And uh, Mikhail Botvinnik was now scheduled at this point to play Bronstein in the upcoming World Chess Championship. But uh, I thought it'd be nice to check out the rising players at the time. So the young Tigran Petrosian in this game, uh, you might be surprised by this game. Knight f3, so he was playing against Alexander Tolish. Some background on Tolish. He was one of Boris Spassky's mentors. He was born, he born and died in St. Petersburg in 1969, which was called Leningrad. He earned the title of IM International Master in 1950, GM in 1953, and International Master of Correspondence Chess in 1965. So Tolosh won the Leningrad Championship in 1937, 38, 46, and 47. Uh, he played in the USSR Championship 10 times. So this is a real veteran player. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Knight f3, so knight f6 from Tolosh. We have c4, e6, knight c3, d5, d4. So it looks like a standard Slav defense now that this triangle has been set up. Is it pretty solid for black? Well, it's very popular nowadays to play this Slav defense or semi Slav with the bishop closed in. C takes d5, so Trojan is voluntarily letting his opponent's bishop uh, come out on this diagonal potentially. Now we see queen c2, bishop d6, bishop g5. Now there is a slight trap in this position already if black plays a move like a6 can you see what white could do here and as an example a6 if i give you five seconds here what would you do with white in this position okay the traps based on the queen on c2 you can take here and if black doesn't want to damage his pawn chain then there's a move here can you see Knight takes d5 using that uh, that loose piece on c8. Yeah, this queen c2 is not without venom, basically. So anyway, um, in this position after bishop g5, black just castled e3. Now here, usually in live book, knight bd7 contests firmly e5, that e5 square. In this game, a rarer move, bishop g4 is played. And this is quite energetically replied to, making use of the fact black hasn't secured down e5. White actually plays knight e5, immediately threatening knight takes g4, of course, or bishop takes and then knight takes g4. So the bishop's being victimized here. And black doesn't want to play bishop takes e5, that horrible pin on f6. So black plays bishop h5. And now we see a kind of re reversed stone wall, f4, but with the bishop in an aggressive square, pinning that knight. It's an ideal stone wall formation. And in fact, this bishop cannot easily even go to g6 now. If bishop g6, this wasn't played, but f5, and if the bishop goes back then g4, and, and white's winning a piece. h6 doesn't help, bishop just re retreats here, keeping that pin. So this is already pretty tricky after f4. Black tries queen a5 here. The opening already has not been a major success here. Queen a5 being played. Bishop d3 now. So not only uh, putting pressure on h7, but bishop takes f6 could be on the cards. Black plays h6. We have bishop takes f6, g takes, and now a very, very strong move indeed by Tigran Petrosian. The tiger is getting his claws out here though. Uh, so that's my clue to you. <laughs> it's a very, very strong, aggressive move here. White play, what would you play in this position if I give you five seconds starting from now? Okay, you don't wanna retreat this knight particularly g4 you just want to open this line to the opponent's king this g file black clearly cannot go to g6 taking another queen coming that'll be end of game so f takes 
And there's a beautiful choice of either F takes or G takes. Both are really strong moves in this position. G takes is, is very scary for black with the rook still being disconnected. For example, this is strong check and here, and how does black respond to queen g7? So that's very, very strong in this position, as well as f takes e5, which was played. Both of them are very, very strong moves. So f takes e5, bishop drops back to e7. Clearly, things have gone very, very badly wrong at the opening. This is too much of a handicap, this position for black. Surely, white castles queenside connecting the rooks, ready to pin that bishop on bishop takes g4 and win it with h3. We see a very desperate looking bishop g5. Again, the rook still not connected here. A disastrous game for black. g takes h5. So this g file is now ready for an attack. King h8. Bishop takes e3 check would not be helping matters. In fact, it would probably just lead to the bishop being trapped because this position, if black wants to get his queen back, for example, h4 kind of traps this bishop. It's in white's position. If bishop takes this bishop h7 check and rook takes d4. So the bishop's kind of trapped here. So it didn't really want to take on e3. It doesn't help the defense. King h8, this also doesn't really help things. Queen f2, not only protecting the pawn, but the queen can now come to f5 looking at queen h7 mating. Black tries to stop that. Now h4, bishop e7, and the bishop has lost control of f4 here. And white pounces on that trade-off decision. Queen f4, and it's hopeless for black now. Can't really defend this position. It's just a humiliating defeat. The rooks are not even connected in the final position. Black resigns here. There's all sorts of very, very strong moves for white. If king h7, we can just take on f5, for example. It's so crushing, this game. And this was the young Tigran Petrosian, who, of course, later became known as very, very difficult to beat and a, a kind of draw master. But in this game, when he was young, his style, you know, sometimes was very, very attacking and daring and taking risks. So at some points, he changed his appetite a bit to be less uh, risky and less attacking. But uh, clearly... When he wants to attack, Tigan Protosian can attack. Given the right circumstances, he'll go for your king. The tiger's claws were out in this game. I'm sure you'll agree. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.